Okay, uh, now that we've gotten the base coat down, it's, ti it's time to start applying our blue tape. This painter's tape is a specially designed painter's tape for delicate surfaces. And what I mean by that, there's all the little hills and valleys that are along in this whole uh, canvas area, and I don't want the paint to actually seep underneath of it. So what I've done, I've already gone ahead and pre-measured a six inch area because I'm going to paint this whole section of color. Uh, but I want this edge right along here to be absolutely sealed. So in order to do that, once the painter's tape is applied, I'm gonna put a bead of matte medium down. Uh, once the matte medium's down, it'll secure a very nice sharp edge and so we won't have any bleeding underneath, if all works out correctly. So take a little bit. I'm just using a little Pro RT half inch flat brush here. And the reason why I'm using the matte medium is because I don't want to change the sheen of, the, of this edge compared to the rest of the painting. A matte's just going to dry absolutely flat. You won't notice any difference from it compared to the rest of the painted area. So it dries ultra quickly. I mean, in a matter of a minute or two, it'll be drying. We can actually go and start applying our other color. Now, as I apply the blue tape along all the edges, I'm going to always want to seal it with the matte medium. It's the uh, Matisse uh, medium number five. So uh, make sure you get some of that in order to secure a really nice sharp edge. Get the brush clean. Okay, that is probably pretty dry right now, so I'm going to go ahead and get a color out that we select and uh, start the painting process. So I really want something bold and snappy and pop, so I'm going to use a jewel tone. I'm going to start with uh, the quinacridone magenta, and that's what we're going to use to do this whole leading edge. So what you want to do is take a softer brush and, to, and start applying that right onto the canvas. And you see it'll give a real brilliant pop to it. Now I'm going to use a smaller flat brush to come right along that edge there because I want to ensure that I get a good line right along there. I'm just using this actually this larger brush just to cover this larger area to get it done quicker. Once I have it all down, I'll let it sit and let it dry, and then uh, we'll come back in a few minutes after it's dry to apply the next imagery, okay? All right, now we've got the, really the first layer of our design in place. It's dried, it's time to remove the tape. It's kind of like Christmas now. So gently pull it back. I want to make sure it's absolutely dry because I want to keep that razor sharp edge. And I'll use an X-Acto knife if I have a situation where I might call for. But I try to bend it back. I don't lift it up or tear it off. I gently pull it back. Because the acrylic, it's a plastic. And I'm not letting it sit overnight. I'm just doing it after a few minutes of drying just to get that hard edge. But you want to just be very careful when removing it. And you can see how sharp, crisp of an edge we have there. If you have a place where the tape is really down, I'll use the little X-Acto knife to lift it. And not to harm or gouge the uh, canvas here. Again, pulling it away so that this edge it's not completely dry it's just kind of dry to the touch so I'm being very careful with removing it now over here you can see the original layer revealed
this will come off a little bit freer because this layer of paint has been down a little bit longer than the rest of them. So far, we're in pretty good shape. It's just because of all the undulating surfaces from the underneath texture might cause it to uh, have a bubble where it can leak under. That's why we put that matte medium on. It's critical. And you can see that nice sharp edge we're getting right there. And that's what we're looking for. But again, you see how it just slowly appears. But all in all, it's doing pretty great. And you can see that imagery that we've got so far. Mm -hmm.